they were faced with starvation, disease, injury, including injury from getting into fights with other wolves between packs. And these are all natural causes. When you start adding in human pressure, heavy words with his brother. Tati is very aggressive. over his kind of co-dominant males for about six weeks until they finally figured it out and this gang ended up with the dominant male. Those two are still together over at Eastlake. Tristan has since passed away of old age. He lived to 15. Well, anyway, the whole sequence was absolutely fascinating, especially when we could tease it apart in the video that Tom got. So those are some of the things you can do with captive wolves. It would be very difficult, if not a lot. You see wolves come and go, and you have no idea what happened. How did that animal get to be dominant? How did that animal lose its position? How did that animal get that injury? We can see all of that. We can, you know, just observe them constantly. And during the breeding season, we often do. We'll do 24-hour watches. We do have lights around the enclosure. Well, I'm going to... Oh, well, actually, you know what we haven't done for a while? I don't think is howling. So before I open up for questions, let's do one more howl. The wolves are all primed up on a log, and hopefully they will join in, and then I will open it up for questions. So count of three. One, two, three. Too bad. 